All right, so what I wanna do now is implement a table sorter so that we can click on the heading of a table column and it'll sort um, by that heading, by that field. All right, so there's a ton of, of uh, table sorter scripts that you can use. We're gonna use a jQuery plugin that's called table sorter and you can get it at tablesorter.com slash docs. And if we go down, there's just a ton of info here and you can do some really advanced stuff. We're gonna just use the, the bare minimum, um, but it, it has potential to do, you can do a lot with your tables. All right, so what we're gonna do is click on, let's see, in this contents, we want download. And we're gonna get this full release. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this link. Okay, and we'll go ahead and open that and you get a whole bunch of files but all we really need is this file here which is jquery.tablesorter.js so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into my project folder and open up the JS folder and we're going to paste that in all right and now Let's go to pages.html, and before we can do anything, we need to actually include the file. So down at the bottom here, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste it in right here, and then we just wanna change this to jQuery.tablesorter.js. All right, so that should include the file. All right, now, what we need to do is we need to identify the table that we want to sort, which if we go up here, uh, this is it right here. So we need to add a few things to it. We need to add a new class. I'm sorry, we need to add an ID. And this is going to be sort table. And in order for this to work, we need to include T head and T body tags. So we want to wrap our head header area in T head. And then the rest should be wrapped in T body. All right, and then down here, we need to initialize the plugin, which is really simple. Okay, so we need to say jQuery, let's see, function. And what we wanna do is grab that by the ID which was sort table. All right, and then we're gonna just call the plugin, which is table sorter. All right, and then we need to pass in uh, an options object, and we want sort list. All right, and then we need to just, we're gonna do, use these brackets, and we want zero, zero. Uh, let's see, we need another set of brackets, and this should be one, zero. I'm not exactly sure uh, what this means here, but I just know it's needed to be able to sort. And you can see that at the, if we go to the, the web page, let me just find an example. So this is what we did, we called table sorter, but we're using that sort list option uh, which is right here. Here's an example of what we're doing. All right, and then there's there's a lot more options you can uh, look at if you want, but that should be good for us. Let's just put a semicolon right here. I think that should work, so let's try it. Okay, we wanna be on pages.html, and if we click, all right, so you can see that when we click on a heading, it sorts, okay? Now, you can't really tell by looking that, that this will do anything. 
So I want to do two things. I want to add a little arrow icon and also I want the, the cursor to change to um, a hand, a pointer when we hover over them. All right, so that's really easy to do. Let's just go up to our headings right here. And I'm just going to paste in an icon tag. Okay. Do that for all of them. And then to change the cursor to a pointer, we need to go to our CSS and say table, table sorter header. We want to change cursor to a pointer. Okay, so we'll reload. There's our arrows. All right, so that's not the pointer's not there. I think um, I think we need to add that class. Let me see. Um, let's change. I mean, let's add in. A class called table sorter and then say table sorter th see if that works there we go all right so now it changes to a pointer so we can click and sort them so we want to do the same thing to categories and users so let's go ahead and copy the script down here I'm just gonna actually copy yeah, from here down to here. And we just want to replace the bootstrap JS. Save and we'll do it to the users as well. All right, and then actually that might be it. Oh no, we need to add our classes in the ID. So let's grab let's grab this whole table tag. And we're going to use that here. And here. All right, so that's it's not working for some reason. Categories. Oh, we didn't put the icons there for one thing, so let's grab that. Oh, I know why. We didn't do the T head and T body, so let me just do this first. We'll put in these icons. Um, so this is users, so I want icons here and here, save, and then we'll do it with categories as well, just for the title, that's the only field we have. All right, and then we just need to add in the T head and T body. Okay, so let's see, table, T head. And then T body. Save. Do the same thing to users. save and let's try it again and there we go categories works so that's it for this section um, in the next one what we're going to do is add the functionality to the search and filter box so that when we type in it these listings uh, pages categories and users will, will narrow down to match 
whatever the query is that we put in this box. Okay, so we'll be doing that next.